everyone so this is going to be the eighth video on uh, configuring emacs so uh, today we are going to install two packages for uh, so changing the variables basically on the and uh, changing your list function so those two packages are i edit and para edit so let's list down the package lists so first package that we are going to install is this one i edit okay so this has a wiki page also so i'll probably add that uh, in the uh, our config uh, config org now the good thing is uh, we'll, we'll see a demo on this one like how this thing works and the second package which we are going to install is para edit okay so this does not have much of the documentation mentioned here at, at uh, the at this page but it has a good mod, mode uh, documented anyway so let's get our org file for okay for installation and stuff so so first will be the i edit installation require i edit that should be sufficient and for the para edit what mm, probably i'll just copy this one that should be sufficient Rec and I'm gonna enable it so the function will be parallel mode and I'm enabling it everywhere now let's see how this thing works so let's go to the scratch buffer and uh, let's say we have a uh, something like this so maybe i'll open it so one of my uh, yes why not so let's say i have some uh, python code here and it will work everywhere so the key fun uh, function for uh so para edit uh, i edit is uh, c core semicolon so that will be control semicolon right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to a, let's say a variable name and I'll press control. Okay. Uh, control. Wait a second. This seems to be, okay. It's not coming because obviously we haven't evaluated the buffer. So what we need to do is open our Emacs and do eval buffer right now let's go back and let me try control semicolon and it's working now the in interesting thing is that when you press control semicolon it starts kind of uh, uh, this uh, i edit mode here so as you can see that uh, wherever this uh, variable is called it's highlighting here now let's say if i do something like this it changes for all in order to stop it what we are going to do i'm going to press control semicolon again all right so same thing you can see like if i press on something else and again it is kind of jumping like that so any edit you can what you are doing here it will be affected for all now let's say you don't want to edit this guy only these two that is also possible so all i'm doing here is marking it then making it narrow so that is 
after making it uh, narrow if i again go here and press this one let's say i'm adding something and uh, i'll widen this time now uh, notice that this name did not change all right so i like it because whenever there is a need for changing the names in a uh, uh, in some region or uh, entire the file and if i am if you want to change something it's good and you can also do like some prefixing to get the uh, only within uh, some function definition if you want to do that's possible in a line if you want to do that those are also possible so i'll just copy this uh, and let's just uh, add this here so we can refer it now let's go to the para edit uh, demo so this is also pretty cool thing so although we have the electric indent pair and all these things so uh, uh, it's uh, para edit actually makes a lot uh, bigger sense so let's say i want to i can have it on a list i can have it something like a, a variable string like this and it works for square brackets and all this stuff so let's say that uh, I'll show you the list example. This is a string, something like that. I wrote so. If I press uh, quotes again, so notice uh, this quote is actually ending now. Okay, so this is because it's only ended. Okay, so that did not got enabled in the scratch buffer for some reason. Uh, anyway, so if you have, like, let's say I am pressing the codes again, it will actually come out. So if I write something like this and if I press codes again, it actually escapes it. So you can, let's say, have something like this. So if you are having some print statement, so I'll do one more thing. Okay. Uh, so describe function para edit mode if I came here. So you will have all the functions and all its key bindings that are there. So mentioned here so these are the key bindings and this is what it does so i recommend you to ch check this one out because there are a lot of good things uh, here you will find and uh, it's it's pretty cool if you if you really see it so that's about these two demos that we have thanks for watching and uh, please uh, uh, subscribe and comment if you like it